Pearson said that you had um, two different, is it two different degree programs that you went through there? Yeah, I got um, an associate's degree in computer science with network security concentration. And then I also got a certificate in software development. Okay. And can you tell me um, why you chose those two programs? So um, when I went to the Air Force, I joined as a cybersecurity operations. Mm -hmm. um, so I basically did the, the, the same job I'm doing now, but for the military ever since I was 18. Mm -hmm. um, and I enjoy it. It's, it's really, really fun and it's rewarding watching, you know, what you bust your butt on achieving something because it's, it's easy to see if email works it's because you did it, you know? Mm -hmm. Right, right. Okay. Um, and did, you just recently completed your program there? Yes, about three months ago was the last class I took. Okay. Um, what did you find to be the most helpful part of, of taking your degree program there? As the school's teacher, like how, how, was, how was them helpful or how? Yeah, like what, what made that experience with them, um, what made that experience there beneficial to you or, or helpful? In, in... How were they helpful? How was you hear me? Yes. Yes. Uh, I think. Uh, it, it froze for a couple seconds. I didn't hear what you asked last. Uh, I'm just asking what your experience was like there, you know, what you found to be beneficial when going through that program there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, what I really liked about this school is that not only, I've been through other universities where you get a ton of the coursework, you get a bunch of like, you learn it as it's stated in the book, but you don't, really get any hands on on the systems and what i've learned every time i get to a new job it's not really uh important how much you know of the con well the concepts are but hands on is what matters and the, the school gave us the opportunity to do half uh book learning and half hands on uh prior to the pandemic we had on-site uh, classes where uh when I was doing the A plus, they had us tear a computer apart, put it together, um, little things like that, that I think you really don't learn from just reading a book, you know? Right, right. Um, I've been hearing that from some of the other students that I've talked to at other universities and college programs that are similar to this one is that the hands-on really was beneficial to them um, just for learning how to do the job. It's, it's almost like exactly. having that, like an apprenticeship when, when, when you're getting a chance to do it hands-on. Um, how did you find out about the program there? Um, one of the, one of the, the, I was working as a contractor for the Navy in Point Loma and one of the instructors that was, uh, he was a Navy instructor. He was getting out of the military. Uh, uh, he told me he was going through that program because um what's and most universities don't do that and some of those certifications teach okay all right so it was it was word of mouth and it helped you find it yeah uh did you yeah. find that that they had um that the, that the programs that they have in place to help veterans get through the process did you find those helpful yeah yeah um I like that they uh, kind of set up even little job fairs that um, I actually did a, I think like six months as a contractor for a company that I met through one of those little programs they had. Um, it was like a random day at class. They had people come over and talk to us and they helped, helped us update our resume. And from there, um, I got hired uh, for a position for about six months. Okay. And the job that you have now, did that come through a connection at the university or through career services? How did you find that? No, um, they actually found me on Indeed. Okay. Um, what would you tell other veterans who are transitioning out of the military and back into civilian life? What would you say to encourage them to consider going through one of these programs? Um, just to, you know, a, a 
that it, it is it is challenging. It's very challenging, especially having once you get out, you're gonna kind of be in a weird space where you don't your life is not planned out as it was your prior years in the military, where you go to work out, you go to work, you go volunteer, and that's your day. Um, you'll have a lot more freedom, a lot more temptation to do other stuff, but you know you just got to keep your uh, goal in mind and uh, stick to it. Don't let the work pile up because especially these short classes, every five weeks is a new class. If you slack for a week, you're already behind. You know, mm-hmm. you just got to stay on top of it. it. You will get through it and just, you know, put your mind to it. Did, did you find it helpful going to a school that is so veteran friendly? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, because other people there are in my same situation other classmates uh i think some of the instructors were also veterans which um they can kind of relate to um kind of where you're at in your life when you just get out of the military where it's kind of like it's a very confusing time for some um and yeah they're able to kind of guide you and tell you from their experience what worked for them and you know things that could help you on the right path. Um, so moving forward, would you, you know, if you feel like you need to go back for anything else, do you have any plans to take any more certificate programs or anything, or are you pretty much set in your career now? No, um, I need to finish a bachelor's. I have a few um, credits that I need, but I ran out of money with my GI bill. So now I'm just uh, saving up a bit so I can finish that up. Are you able to transfer the credits that you got at CIOT or do they have a bachelor's yeah. program? They do have a bachelor's program, but um, I'm looking to transfer to Western Governors University, okay. which a lot of my friends have told me it's also a great online school. Okay. The classes, the classes that you took at CIOT, were they, was it a combination of online and in person or were they all online? Well, it started off as all online, I mean, all on site in person, but then uh, COVID happened. So they quickly, we didn't even miss a beat. They just set it all up to online and they were really resp- quick to um, get us back on track. Okay. All right. I preferred it online, but I mean, I preferred it in person, but you know, it's, it's it was out of their control, out of my control. So. Right. Yeah, it was a weird time for everyone and a lot of <laughs> shifting had to happen for sure. 